The Carrier which mean striker is a main battle tank fully developed and designed by the Iranian defense industry. This tank was unveiled for the first time to the public in August 2016. A video footage from Iranian television television was published on YouTube showing the Carrier main battle during trials in the desert. In March 2017, the Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Dehan has inaugurated the production line of the new homemade Carrier main battle tank at the Bani Hashim Armor Industrial Complex in Doryud County, Lorstan. The Carrier battle tank shares a striking resemblance with the T-90MS battle tank of Russia. The hull is majorly divided into three compartments, with the driver's cab at the forward, turret in the center and power pack at the rear. The vehicle is equipped with a laser rangefinder to track targets with high degree of accuracy. It features an advanced battlefield management system BMS, supported by digital panels fitted inside the hull. The BMS integrates data from the sensor systems, other tanks, and digital maps. The tank is equipped with an electro-optical fire control system and embedded night vision systems for the onboard crew members. The thermal imaging system aboard the tank enables the gunner to fire at the targets with high precision in all weather conditions during the day and night. The vehicle is also fitted with advanced observation systems aided by a rear-mounted digital camera near the periscope. Other standard equipment aboard the vehicle includes a ballistic computer, a nuclear, biological and chemical NBC protection system, and LED headlights. The Carrier Battle Tank is powered by a rear-mounted diesel engine with a rated power output of up to 1200 horsepower. The tank has the ability to travel at a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, while the maximum operational range of the vehicle is 550 km. The vehicle is equipped with torsion bar suspension including six road wheels on either side of the hull. The main gun fitted to the Care MBT is a 125mm smoothbore gun. The secondary weapon includes a remote weapon system, RWS, mounted with a 7.62mm machine gun. The 125mm gun can fire armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding SABO, APFSDS, high explosive fragmentation. HEF. It is also equipped with a fume extractor and a thermal sleeve. It can also fire guided missile. The CARE MBT incorporates a dynamic self-protection system supported by explosive reactive armor ERA, at the forward hull. The sides of the turret are attached with spaced composite armor, while the roof is fitted with add-on armor for additional protection. The protection system enables the turret to withstand chemical and kinetic energy impact. The rear part of the hull and turret are hinged with cage armor for protection against RPG attacks. The vehicle is also fitted with two banks of three smoke grenade dischargers. According to military experts, the Kerr MBT is based on the chassis of the Soviet-made D-72 but fitted with a new turret. The design of the tank seems to be very similar to the Russian-made T-90MS main battle tank. According to retired Major General Vladimir Vlikotyrev, the Kerr is a copy of the Russian-made T-90MS, the most advanced modification of the T-90 family but it uses some features of American M1 Abrams and British Challenger II. Russian military experts suggested that in terms of certain military capabilities the Carrier is unlikely to match the Russian T-90. The Carrier provides the Iranian military and local defense industry with a homegrown solution to a long-standing need reducing reliance on Russia and other export supplier. Decades of operation and production of Soviet Russian equipment have aided the Iranians in achieving the feat though only time and Carrier actual power will be deemed only when this tank get ultimate exposure on the modern battlefield.